I saw something for Nigeria when the worship was going on. That's why I said, let me say this. Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. The video I'm about to watch right now is a mind-blowing prophecy from Apostle Francis. In this prophecy, he has revealed something that is going to shock you about our country, Nigeria. I'm not going to waste your time. I'll just like watch the video and listen to everything he has to say about our country, Nigeria. Please don't forget share the video on social media platform. Share with your friends and love them. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. I saw something for Nigeria when the worship was going on. That's why I said let me say this. So I move on. Listen, um, when you have a soul on your body, then the soul is taking time to heal. Will you cut that part away or you will still treat it until it's fully healed? No matter how long it takes to treat, you will still treat it, right? Because it's part of your body. Is it not true? That is where some of you don't understand. Nigeria is, will, and shall continue to be for God. There are people in Nigeria who know God better than me. Do not look at the situation in Nigeria and speak and spew out hatred and prophesy negative things. Many of you pastors who are prophesying that Nigeria shall divide, God has not called you. It's not true. You've not been sent by God. You have looked at your belly and your emotions and the things that are going on politically and you are speaking out of self. And demons are speaking to you. Let me tell you, God has showed me a vision. Otherwise, contrary to what you know, what you see, Nigeria will rise up and will walk in righteousness as a united nation, not a divided nation. I'm sorry to let you know, Ibos, your dream of separating from Nigeria will not be realized. You will just waste your time. Because God is looking for a united country, not a divided country. There was a reason why Northern Nigeria and Southern Nigeria was, 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 was put together by the colonial masters. It's God, though it was a colonial thing, God had his plan in it. The same way you had, he had his plan in the salvation and redemption plan of man. The, but I have come to announce to you that the hand of Islam has been broken from Nigeria. That's the core of this message. So that no more shall God allow an Islamic leader to rule Nigeria anymore. Provided that the church continue to pray the way they are praying. Remember, it's conditional. I'm seeing God lifting up his own children who are spirit-filled because the church has prayed. And they have taken over the nation of Nigeria, ruling with equity, righteousness, and property, with rule of law. And people began to see and know peace. Convictions took place. Even armed robbers laid down their arms. Because under their rule, God gave prosperity. And God gave reprieve. So Nigeria rose up. You will see. And you will know that God has spoken. Let's not talk much. You will see. You sh and Nigerians shall be the envy of everybody. Nigerians will walk proud. Say, being a Nigerian. And they will show their flag and their passport like this. And people will say, can I get some? You will see what God is doing says the Lord. Hallelujah. The hem of Islam is broken from Nigeria. No more shall Islam rule Nigeria. You will see God will take over the land. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. I'm sure you have heard everything Apostle Francis has said concerning our country, Nigeria. It is important for us to pray for our country, Nigeria. You see, as you have said it now, that it is not true that God said Nigeria will be divided, that Nigeria is going to be divided. I know some of us are not happy. You see, for now, instead of us to be thinking about division and all the rest, I will all just to channel that energy in praying for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer at the moment. Let things get better at least before we start talking about uh, division. A lot of people are suffering. People are going through different hardship. People are going through different trouble. Look at the way everywhere is. Everywhere is just disarranged. Everywhere is just scattered in the country. So for now, let us think about fixing the country. Let us think about that. Let us start praying about that. Because if Nigeria is not fixed, I'm telling you that we are going to carry over what we took from Nigeria into whichever country we are dividing to. If you say you are becoming Biafra, Biafra will not just become good. 
overnight because you are not living happy you are not living well but if nigeria is in order everybody is okay and the country decide to de divide it will be easy for people to just adjust and move even though it is not like going to like happen immediately but it will not be as stressful as as uh, as it is going to be if we divide right now so all these things needs patience so the prophet have said that god did not show him that nigeria will be divided yes he has said it he has said it i know i will never sit here to say oh this person is fake this is not fake no i will never do that the only thing i will encourage us to do is that we should pray let us pray to God that whatever it is his will for our country, Nigeria, let it happen. Nigeria is a very beautiful country. If you take away all the rubbish that is going on, you will know that Nigeria is a beautiful country. If we have leaders with vision, leaders with the right mindset, leaders with the right understanding that is going to help put this country in place, arrange this country the way it's supposed to be, I'm telling you that Nigeria is a very beautiful place and you, you know it. If you have traveled outside Nigeria before, you understand this thing I'm saying. If you have lived outside Nigeria before, you understand that this our country Nigeria is a blessed land. The only thing we are lacking at this moment, at this point is just good leadership. And once Nigeria gets it, I'm telling you, it will be hard for most countries to compete with our country Nigeria. Nigeria is super blessed, full of talent, full of potential, full of resources. All we just need is management because it is mismanagement that have put nigeria in the mess it is right now if somebody with the right understanding comes into power i'm telling you that you will enjoy this country we call nigeria nigeria is a beautiful place to be nigeria is a beautiful place so let us do well to pray for our country nigeria i understand that you need division i understand that you want to be you want to uh, be part of Ududua republic you want to be part of i want to be part of biafra i understand but for now we are nigerians Nigeria is our country. Let us do all we can to help our country progress. Let's do all we can to make sure that our country is fixed. A new Nigeria is what we are calling for. A better Nigeria is what we are praying for. A Nigeria that will help people thrive is all we are dreaming of. A Nigeria that will help you live in peace. A Nigeria that will, will, will give you the comfort, the, the security you need to push forward, to chase your dream is all we are, we are all wishing for. That is it. And I know that someday we are going to experience a better, a bigger, and an amazing, a, 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 a greater and a peaceful Nigeria. I know so. I am confident about that. So please, I am begging us. Let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the only country we have at the moment. That is all I have to say. Let us do it. Let us put aside whatever prophecy we have heard. Nigeria will be divided. It will not be divided and all that. Yes. Let us just for now focus on trying to fix our country. Nigeria, play your role. Let me play, play my role. Let the politicians do the best they can do. And then you see the transformation you need. But you see, if we all see that and say, oh, it is the president. It is this. It is that. It is not going to work. Because I, I will always say it. The president alone, Tinibu alone, is not the problem of this Nigeria. But that's not something we are going to be talking about today. Let us do our own part and you see that Nigeria will be great again. I know so. I believe so. And I want you to believe it too. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you return a subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you. Please don't forget to share the video on our social media platform. Share with your friends and loved ones. And please. Don't forget to like the video and drop a comment. By doing this, you trigger the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend the video with more people. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.